Complete the table of values for y equals negative 2x plus 4. Here we are given an equation and a partial table of values with the x values filled in, and we need to find the corresponding y values. So if x equals negative 4, then y would equal negative 2 by negative 4 plus 4, so y would equal 8 plus 4 following the order of operations, y would equal 12. Continuing, if x equals negative 2, y would equal negative 2 by negative 2 plus 4, y would equal 4 plus 4, y would equal 8. If x is 0, y would equal negative 2 by 0 plus 4, y would equal 0 plus 4, y would equal 4. And if x equals 2, y would equal negative 2 by 2 plus 4, y would equal negative 4 plus 4, y would equal 0. Now if we think about this, we really have four ordered pairs here. We have negative 4, 12, negative 2, 8, 0, 4, and 2, 0. Now next we're asked to graph the equation y equals negative 2x plus 4. Well, to graph an equation we need to find all of the points that lie, that satisfy that equation. Well, we might not be able to find all of the points, but I just found four of them. So let's hold on to those four. Let's bring them down here. And let's plot them. We have negative 4, 12. Well, let's, uh, negative 4, 12, let's just use a scale of 1. So if this is 1 and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there's 10. So 11, 12. Negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 12. It'll be about up here. Negative 2, 8. Zero, 4. And 2, 0. Now, if I look at those lines, I'm sorry, if I look at those points, they appear to be collinear. They appear to be on the same line. So what we can, what we do to graph the equation is we draw the line that passes through those points. This line represents all of the solutions of the equation. And if we've drawn it very well, I should be able to pick any point on the line, sub substitute it, and come back as a true statement. Let's see another example. y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 1. All right, so this is a little tougher. We don't have a table to go with. So what we have to do is create a table. Now generally, if we have an equation of this form, where you have the y isolated, it's always a good idea to pick 0 for x. Now we pick another, a couple other numbers for x. So a good choices would be multiples of the denominator if we have a fractional coefficient on x. 
So the denominator is 5. I want to pick multiples of 5. Why? It makes the arithmetic easy. So I'm going to pick negative 5 and positive 5. All right, so if x equals 5, I'm sorry, if x equals negative 5, y would equal negative 3 fifths of negative 5 plus 1. Negative 3 fifths of negative 5 would be positive 3, and 3 plus 1 is 4. If x is 0, y would equal negative 3 fifths of 0 plus 1. That would be 0 plus 1, which is 1. And if x equals 5, y would equal negative 3 fifths of 5 plus 1. And so that would be negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. Plotting those points. Again, let's assume a scale of 1 here. Negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Positive 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 5, negative 2. Again, those points appear to be collinear, so we draw the line through the points.